Whispers in my head What you gonna do? 선택의 기도해 Welcome back to my channel. It's another Friday. How quickly is January going? It's going really quickly. I think we're quite looking forward to having some little signs of spring pop up. It's this time of year, isn't it? It's just a bit meh. Hopefully, uh, this haul will cheer you up. Now, this is the haul that we should have had last week, but the clothing didn't arrive in time, so we are now doing it this week. This is the first Peacock's haul of 2024. It is blinding. It is mega. That's all I'm going to say. So you're going to need to get yourself a drink. You're going to need to get some snacks because we've got a lot to get through um, in this haul and it's all really, really nice stuff. So I cannot wait to show you. A couple of things to tell you before we crack on because I don't want to go on too much. If you are following me on Instagram and if you are not, please do come over. It is another angle to this YouTube channel. Call it the little friend of this channel. I popped a post out telling you ladies that I now have a shop. It is a shop through a social media platform called LTK. It is a one-stop shop. So everything that you see in my hauls going forward on this channel will be linked in my shop. It will be much easier to kind of place the items because you'll see videos of me modeling it. And it won't just be a link for one item. It will be linking all of the items that I'm wearing in that photograph. I'll pop the link down below in the description box. And if you're interested, then come and give me a little follow. The other little piece of exciting news um, is that we have Bowden on board. If you are a lady that knows her good quality clothing, uh, you will have heard of Bowden. So that is in the pipeline. And another familiar name in the beauty industry, Laura Geller. So I have a couple of exciting collaborations coming up and lots of fresh brands in the pipeline. So please do keep your eyes peeled. Please stay with me. So an exciting start to the year. Right, let's crack on with this first Peacock's Haul of 2024. We are looking at the Louise Redknapp edit, like I said earlier, um, and lots of other items from the new arrivals. So let's crack on with this week's Peacock's Haul. Take it away. Yeah. Right, let's start off with bags. We've got two bags to show you. This is a good old camera bag. Um, we've seen a couple of these camera bags, I think, through the Peacock's Hauls that I've done in the past. But I don't think we've ever done a black one. No, I don't think we have. I'm currently wearing one by a brand called Lulu. I'm not too sure where I got it from. But anyway, I think that is a really smart little camera bag. Crossbody as well. I would always wear this cross body you can wear it with a black outfit or you can wear it with quite a neutral outfit and i'm loving my neutrals at the moment this from my Matalan haul last week is a key example absolutely loving this uh, so this ladies was 18 pounds it has an adjustable strap Boppity bop. At the very front, you've got a pocket and then you've got two bigger pockets. Yet yeah, you've got three pockets in total. I've just noticed it does come with a plain black strap as well. I wouldn't even entertain that to be quite honest with you. I love these fun straps. They're much thicker as well, like a belt strap. So I really do like those. So I'd probably just take that off. So there we go, 18 pounds for that. I don't think it comes in any other colors, but I will link my Lulu one uh, down below because it is fab. Now this bag, ladies, I actually picked up to be my gym bag. Um, it's actually considered an under-seat cabin bag. I just liked the colour combo, black with this light fawn colour. It's a really, really fab bag. I'm just going to take this off. I mean, if you're looking for a bag to take on holiday and it's just a cabin bag, all of the dimensions that you're allowed um, on the airlines, which I thought was brilliant. I don't think I've actually seen one of these before. Also, hang on, looking at the picky. Oh! You can pop it over your larger suitcase, the one that's going in the hold. So that is this section here, which also doubles up as a little pocket. How nifty is that? I'm actually not going to use it and I didn't buy it to be a cabin bag. I actually bought it because I liked it as a sports bag. It's nice and deep. It has an additional strap as well. I normally just carry them like that. I could probably just put it over my shoulder that way. So this is going to become my new gym bag. It's totally waterproof as well, ladies, inside and out. So if you've been swimming, and you've got your wet swimming costume, towel, whatever. It's not going to wet your seats. And you've got all of these limbing pockets. You've got a pocket on the end here. You've got a little zip pocket at the back, which again is all waterproof on the side and then inside the bag, just a vast expanse of space. So there we go. I thought that was a nifty little purchase. So there we go, 16 pounds. I'm definitely going to wear that to the gym. Right, shoes, ladies. Ooh. 
I have got two pairs of loafers. You know I love a loafer, but I do struggle to find comfortable loafers. So I picked up these. I also picked them up in the black. Faux suede, as you can see, they are both in a UK four. Look at that fab chain detail at the front in like a faux tortoiseshell. If they're comfortable, these are going to be a real go-to shoe for me. I do like to have a little bit of a heel and admittedly with a loafer, you don't get much, do you? Embrace being short, Emily, embrace it. It's the detail at the front which really gets me. You've got two different colors there. They both come in at the same price, 18 pounds. You know, the world's your oyster with these, but they smarten up any little outfit as well. So I love them. They are 18 pounds. I got them in the black and obviously I got them in the tan or the camel. I went and did it. I went and got Louise Redknapp's high tops. I love these. I would definitely wear these with some skinny black trousers and potentially a long line jumper. Crossbody bag, nice waterproof, fish bash bosh. That is a really, really nice little outfit. How good is the quality of these? Obviously a lot deeper in the sole, so you've got a little bit more height there, which for me is a yes please. I wouldn't go any higher than that. I think if you're gonna go too high, it starts to look like a flat form, but this is the perfect wedge, if you can call it that. So I am in love with those. I cannot wait to start wearing those. They will be great for the school run, not dog walk. No, I don't wanna get these beautiful white bottoms dirty, but they are gonna be an awesome addition to my wardrobe. Now these come in ladies at 18 pounds. I am wearing them in a UK fort and hopefully I'm gonna style up some of these outfits with these going forward. Right, the jeans. Let's show you Louise Redknapp's new wide leg jeans. I've gotta say, these I feel are, oh, I wanna say the perfect high rise wide leg jean, but I, I mean, I haven't tried them on yet, but looking at them, the color, yes please, the material, it's got a lot of stretch in it and it's the stretch that doesn't stretch and stay there, it's the stretch that really bounces back, which is what you want in a denim. So these come in at 25 pounds, they're part of the Louise Redknapp's edit. If you are following her or Peacocks on Instagram, I'm sure you've seen these pop up and probably equally thought, they look nice, they look like a nice jean. They come in sizes 8 to 22. There's currently plenty in stock of these. Now they are high rise, which for me is a massive, massive tick. As long as, I was going to say as long as it's a zip, I always find the zip will give you that extra flatness around the tummy. I think when it's buttons, it does tend to kind of give you that, you know, that mum paunch. So it has a zip. So that's a tick. They are wide leg. As you can see, they are high waisted. They just look like the perfect jean to me. 25 pounds. If they fit, I would will be so happy in the split screen. If they don't, maybe they're a great shape but they're just a little bit too tight, then I will be getting them in the UK 10. So those ladies are the Louise Redknapp high rise wide leg jeans, the much talked about jeans. And this also is the much talked about gilet. This is a faux shearing gilet and it's a long line uh, from what I've gathered. This is absolutely gorgeous. The fact that it's long line is a real big tick for me because I do like things to go a little bit lower on the body. You could wear this with those wide leg jeans, absolutely. This ladies is a fabulous quality, a really good quality. And I think in the light ladies, it almost looks like it has a, a shimmer to it, almost like a, a bronze. I'm not sure if that was the intention, but I quite like it. It. puts it in the more out out bracket for me looking at the front you can completely zip it right up to the top and then you can see you've got this fabulous little detail which is a buckle belt at the top so you can completely wrap yourself up right up to the neck so you're super super snuggly that'd be good for a dog walk let me guess how much this is 38 pounds i reckon oh 45. So a little bit high end this, isn't it? This is a big piece for peacocks. Nicely finished off, really, really good quality. Very, very warm inside. I mean, it's just fully lined with teddy fluff, as I call it. And you've got these zipper pockets as well. They're quite deep pockets. So everything's gonna stay safe. And then you've got little edging at the bottom with the faux shearing. So it is a very snazzy little gilet. So I'm wearing it in the UK 10, 45 pounds, and it is brand new in. 
Right, ladies, I also picked up another pair of Alexa skinny jeans because they are just an absolute winner for me from Peacocks. They look absolutely tiny. So I got them in the eight regular leg. These are just super handy to have and they don't lose their color. A lot of these skinny jeans after time, after wear, they tend to fade. These haven't faded yet. Again, it's the elastane that pings back again. So these do not lose their shape at all. So these are the women's black wash Alexa skinny jeans. I got them in an eight regular and you can get them in a short, regular or a long. So it depends on your height, which is really great. You don't get a lot of that these days, but it's certainly being seen a lot more. So there we go. I got them in an eight regular. They're 16 pounds and they are the Alexa skinny jeans. Right, ladies, this is, oh, I knew it was going to be this soft. I, I, I can almost predict what the material is going to be like now with Peacocks as I order. This, ladies, is part of the main collection, New Arrivals. It is absolutely gorgeous. I can't tell you how soft this material is. And this, ladies, will take you through to spring. This could definitely carry you through. This actually says seen on TV. I'm not too sure when or where that was shown, but I love it. I love a stripe. I can see this tucked into those wide leg jeans even that would be a really cash fresh vibe with some nice little white pumps at the bottom this also does come in a blue a stripy blue and white and a white with almost I don't know it's a bit jewelsy that with the thin multicolored stripes as you know I love a green and I love a stripe so it really was a bit of a no-brainer for me so I'm wearing this in a UK 8 and it comes in at 16 pounds I also picked up to wear with this Louise Redknapp's new cream cargo jogging pants. Could that be a vibe? I think it could absolutely be a vibe. These come in at 20 pounds. I've got to say, ladies, they look really promising. I love a cuffed ankle on a jogger. That's my personal opinion. We've got a nice thick band around the waist. You can pull it in, tie a little knot if you want to. You've got pockets at the side, but what makes these different and turns them into cargo joggers are these big pockets on the leg. Whether or not you put anything in them, they are working and they do have little poppers as well so you can put things in there but there we go i think they're great they're super soft as well and hopefully they're going to look quite nice together with that these also come in ladies in a black they come in a taupe i think it's a taupe we had this discussion last week oh no they call it mocha god there's so many words for that color and they also come in the black as well now these ones are 20 pounds an even newer arrival her 16 pounds cargo joggers the difference is and you're paying a difference of four pounds is that these actually have the poppers on the pocket whereas the new ones that are four pounds cheaper don't have the poppers on the pockets yeah that seems to be the only difference between these joggers in particular and the new ones that she's just brought out but anyway if you're in the market uh, for cargo joggers you like the vibe then definitely check out her collection there's a lot on there but there we go nice little outfit that nice and fresh slobbing around the house or shove a trench coat over the top and venture into the big wide world uh, so there we go 20 pounds for the joggers 16 pounds for the top Oh, ladies, I've never done this before, have I? I know I've done bikinis. I've done a bikini from Peacocks, but come on, lime. I was not, not going to get these. Very, very pale lime green, which makes it so, so, so pretty. Got a lace overlay. It's not padded per se, but the inside is molded foam, but it's not padded. Adjustable straps as well. And as you can see, the lace kind of follows over the padding, just so you'll see it on the skin. So, so pretty. I absolutely love this. Um, and I was even more thrilled to find out they had a matching pair of pants. So the pants ladies come in at five pounds, which are these gorgeous. Yes, they are a full bottom. I'm not really normally a full bottom girl, but every now and then there's no reason why you can't wear one of those. And they come in at five pounds. This bra, what are you? Nine pounds, nine pounds. That's Primark prices for goodness sakes. That's an incredible price. So you have a whole set for 14 pounds. Wow. Okay. So that Valentine's Day coming up. Chaps, if you're watching, I can tell you your lady will love these. These are absolutely stunning. 14 quid for the set. Wrap them up in some tissue paper. Oh my God, she'll love them. And if you're buying it just for yourself or your girlfriend, then bloody well go for it. These are amazing. So yeah, there we go. Absolutely beautiful. Love, love, love. We've got another as seen on TV here. Oh, you can't have enough stripes, can you? Or can you? This is the black and cream stripe jumper. It is new in and it is as seen on TV. I don't know what, if I find out, I'll pop it on the split screen now. But 18 pounds for this. And I can tell you, because touch to me is really, really important. I could love the pattern of an item. And then when it turns up, if the material's not good, you know, am I going to choose to pick it up is the question. This, ladies, is so, so super soft. Again, another super soft 
item. So 18 pounds, it comes in a small to an extra, extra large. It is a nice box sweater. I mean, I could, if I wanted to, wear this with the wide leg jeans, or again, with cream joggers that you've just seen, and it's more of loungewear. But I loved it, it's really crisp, it's really fresh, and yeah, just really popped out to me. You can tell this is gonna wash beautifully as well. But um, yeah, I like that. I think that's really, really nice. 18 pounds as well is not a bad price. I am wearing it in a small, and it goes all the way up to an XXL. Right, we have a jumper. We have a super cozy jumper. Now, this, ladies, was an absolute no-brainer for me. Why do you think that? <laughs> We've got this insane color block long line jumper. This reminds me so much um, of the jumper that I got, oh God, probably two years ago from Peacocks, which I wore with faux leather trousers. I still have it and I still wear it. I absolutely love it and I know it washes well. Oh, differences actually. Didn't realize this. It's actually turned up at the cuff. It's a little bit of extra detail there. This, ladies, comes in two different colorways. It comes with the lime green and then it also does come in a pink as well like a pale pink this comes in at 20 pounds i'm wearing it in a small which i'm guessing is an 8 to 10 it's machine washable as well so that's worth noting uh, it comes in a small medium large extra large and an xxl as well and it also comes in that pink i'm wearing this in a small and i absolutely love it Right, ladies, this is a look that I am so excited to rock. I love the vibe. I just don't do it, and I need to do it because I love it. Louise has brought out these fab kind of Oxford-style shirts. They are turned up to the elbow. I'm sure you can undo them. Yes, you can. So it's up to you how you wear these, but this is the shirt that you want to wear tucked into those high-waisted jeans. Undone, down to probably about the third button. It's so preppy, this look. So, so preppy. I was going to say this is 100% cotton, but actually, it's 75% cotton, 25% linen. You do have that texture of the linen and it's, look, it's not too thick either. You can see my nails through it. It's such a beautiful shirt. It's gonna be so easy to wear and you're going to be able to wear it into the spring as well. So these come in an eight to a 24. They come in at 20 pounds. Um, and then I've got the pink one here as well. This actually reminds me of my husband's work shirt. I do love a pink shirt on a man, don't you? So why not have one for myself? This actually she couldn't be more Louise. She does love that androgynistic style. The wearing of shirts and the more masculine vibe. I like that. So here it is in the pink. I didn't say I was actually wearing the blue in a UK 8 and I'm also wearing the pink in a UK 8 as well. It could look really nice with the buttons done up. So I'll probably try both. If you've got a lovely simple gold chain, you can undo a couple of the buttons and you'll be able to see a little bit of jewellery popping out the top. The buttons are colour coded, worth pointing out. So you have pale pink buttons all the way down and on the blue as well you have the baby blue buttons so yeah I really really like these I want to wear them so I have to make an effort I definitely do like that vibe faux show so 20 pounds I'm wearing them both in a UK 8 but they also go up to a 24 and you can get it in a white as well Oh, ladies, this is, oh, this is nice. Okay, so is this part of the Louise Redknapp edit? No, it's not. It's part of the main collection, this, and it comes in at 18 pounds. It comes in another color as well, which I'll show you after this. I am in love with this. I've got to say, it looks big for a UK eight. I mean, it's probably supposed to be oversized, which is absolutely fine by me. It is long line as well, so it's a, it's a big tick for me. This actually would look fab, kind of draped over your shoulders, wearing one of those cotton shoes. Shirts. That would definitely add to the preppy vibe, that's for sure. This is considered the Ecru, ladies. Um, it comes in at 18 pounds and it comes in a small to an XXL. It does have holes, so it's a thin material. It's very neat, I love the color and it's got that texture. I would assume you would want to wear something under this if you are looking for warmth. So you could layer up or maybe even wear this over a shirt. For 18 pounds, it's actually not a bad price at all. I did also pick this up in the blue. <gasps> How pretty is this blue? This couldn't be more cornflower blue if a cornflower came and hit me in the face. Again, 18 pounds, and again, I'm wearing it in a UK small. Such a beautiful color. But again, you have the holes, the perforation um, all throughout the jumper. You do have a little bit of ribbing around the neck, and I think you have the ribbing at the bottom of the sleeve as well. So it's not a tight sleeve, so it's not gonna you know, give you that ballooned arm. So overall, it's a very, very casual, shluggy 
jumper. Now this could be draped over this shirt. Absolutely, why not? They could go quite nicely together. So there we go, that is the blue one or the cornflower blue one of the Ecru that you've just seen. 18 pounds and I'm wearing it in a UK small. It does go up to an XXL. And of course, such a pretty, pretty color. Right, we're really doing the cozies today. We need it, don't we? We need the cozies. Right, this is a knitted dress. Oh my gosh, I again, I can't wait to get this on my body. I've had the jumper dresses before and they are always a good length. This comes in, I think, two different colors. I have the other color here with me. 22 pounds, I'm wearing it in a small, which is an eight to 10. This one has beautiful little buttons right on the wrist. Now, are they silver, gold? I think they're a silver, but there is some debate there. and you've got this waist belt which is attached so that ladies is actually going to add a little bit of shape a lot of these jumper dresses do not come with these belts so that will actually give it a little bit more a little bit more va va vum if you know what i mean now the model is actually wearing this over jeans in one of the photos well actually in both of the photos so if you are a good height there's no reason why you can't wear this you know with the belt done up over some skinny jeans or some faux leather jeggings even ladies that could be a vibe so i might try that in the split screen and see if it works but i think being five four it may not i think if she's very tall that's why it works so well over trousers and as we go to the warmer months maybe just bare legs and pumps so anyway 22 pounds this one is considered the natural color and again in true peacock style plenty of stretch and a lot of softness so that one is in the natural i also picked it up in the marley gray as well i don't know which one i prefer to be honest with you this is very this do you know what this colour really reminds me of a school jumper colour. Again, exactly the same with the waist belt as well. It is that kind of preppy vibe we're seeing coming through, definitely, which I love, as you know. And again, I'm wearing this in a small, and again, it's £22. I actually can't get over how <laughs> stretchy <laughs> this material is. I, I love it. I do love it. And also for somebody with long arms like myself, these are going to kind of hang quite nicely over your wrists. If it works as a long jumper over jeans, why not? But I think for me, it's going to be a jumper dress. 22 pounds, I'm wearing in a small and it goes up to an XXL. Oh my God, keeping it cozy. Okay, so this is one of three, I think, yeah, three different color combos. This is the Women's Strike Cozy. They've actually got cozy in the title, which means that it was designed to be cozy. I wish you could feel this top. I wish you could reach through and feel this. It's unbelievable. So imagine the softest brushed cotton duvet cover. It is like that. Now, I thought this would look fab with those cream joggers that I showed you earlier. And I think actually the vibe fits perfectly with that so shrubbing around the house or if you are going out you've got the roll neck to keep you a little bit warm so these come in at 16 pounds which isn't a bad price and it comes in a navy is that a navy no it's a black and a gray as well I'm not keen on the grey, that's my personal opinion, but this neutral is absolutely fab. If you tuck it in, give you a little bit of shape, it's not gonna look too much like a pajama top with a roll neck. I'm wearing it in small, just so you know, so an eight to 10 in that. And of course it comes in two other colors as well. Talking of cozy. <laughs> My goodness, this again is in the natural color. That's how it's considered. This is unbelievably soft again, and so much stretch. I'm probably modeling this, to be honest, with the cream joggers and potentially the wide leg jeans. But yeah, absolutely love this. 22 pounds, I'm wearing it in a small, um, and it goes up to an XXL. There's a lot of hoodies and a lot of cozy hoodies on the website, but this is the one that has the detailing down the front. And it has this raglan sleeve as well. It basically means that there is no seam on the shoulder but normally a top will have a seam down here this is a raglan sleeve which means that it goes all the way up there's no seam at all all the way up to the shoulder so there we go if you didn't know that you do now so 22 pounds and i'm wearing that in a uk small I'm gonna do something here which I have never done before. Being only five foot four, I managed to get some items from the children's department. <laughs> and I don't see why if you are, you know, potentially an eight, 10, maybe even a 12, you couldn't get into some of the kids wear as well. And obviously you're going to get it for a lesser price because you're not paying the VAT. These are actually ribbed leggings. I love a legging, but I don't like them to be too thin. So I saw these. Being 
being ribbed, I thought they're probably gonna be a little bit more flattering. I'm gonna come in and show you. It's this very, very natural, very stretchy, but quite a thick ribbed legging. Really, more than anything, the height here, it says that it has the height of 158 to 164. The oldest age that they do is 13 to 14, but I mean, that has a lot of stretch. So I'm actually really, really pleasantly surprised because if I can save a bit of dollar by buying from the kids section, then why the hell not? 11 pounds these were. So there we go, I thought I'd point those out. I also did. <laughs> Bite the bullet with some joggers. I mean, how funny is this? Again, in an age 13 to 14, I'm not being funny, but these look about the same width as a UK eight. So hopefully they'll fit. And of course, being five foot four, which is really more to the point, I measure in at 162 centimeters and these joggers give you up to 164 centimeters. So it does beg the question as to why I don't look in, the, in that section more. Right, so these ladies are fab because they're a different leg they are super super soft it's the cargo vibe it has a pocket on the front as well you've got elasticated waist and you've got pockets around here so honestly i really hope that they actually fit also there's no reason why i couldn't wear this nice stripy top with those joggers as well in fact there's loads of stuff in this haul which i can kind of mix and match now price wise let's compare 14 pounds i paid for those joggers and the joggers from the women's section 20 pounds so you know, if you are short and you normally do get an eight to 10, it might be worth just having a little look, you know? I know it seems silly, but if you're gonna save a little bit of money and you might get some slightly different styles and kids are cool these days. Are they not? Um, so I was really, really buzzing about that. Two items from the kids section. And I also picked up something from the men's section. A sweater in ecru again. Now, I'm not being funny, but that's not men's, that's unisex, is it not? It's a sweater. I got it in a small, and the small looks exactly the same as a small in the women's section, so why the hell not? Now, this was 14 pounds. Oh, am I gonna look as hunky as him in this? Um, it comes in a pale blue, it comes in a green, like a really nice deep green, and it also comes in a rust. I think I went for the best color, to be honest with you. Again, a very, very soft, really, really good quality sweater. If they've got something that you like and you can fit it and the sizing seems to be okay then just blimmin well go for it so there's loads i mean if you do like your active wear you do like your hoodies your joggers and everything it's worth just having a little look in the men's section because they do a lot of stuff which kind of crosses over there we go love it it's super cool super casual this will be worn a lot right the paris sweater sorry just realized so i've got two sweaters i didn't realize that they were both denoted by capital cities but it obviously is uh, so this is louise red maps Paris sweater. I thought this was a navy blue when I ordered it. It's not, it's a black and I just don't do black. It's a lightweight sweatshirt. So definitely something that if it is a bit chilly, you are going to need to layer this up, but I love it. It's got a good flop to it as well. Now she's wearing this with her cream cargo pants. I didn't get any of those, but I could easily wear this with one pair of those cream joggers that you've already seen, or as it's black, maybe you could wear over some black skinny jeans and some white pumps and then you've got that kind of monochrome outfit going on. That actually might be quite a nice vibe. 15 pounds, it's not a bad price at all. It's not got a lot of weight to it. It is quite a lightweight sweater. Paris Avec Amour, that's with love. I got this in a medium. As you know, I like to size up one size when it comes to outerwear or sweaters. Again, another schlubby schlubby jumper to bum around the house. To stay on the same theme, this is her New York sweater. And this, ladies, I've got to say, it's a little bit softer. I don't know why it should be softer. If I had to pick between the two, it would be absolutely this one. You can see this much better as being quite a lightweight sweater. The way it falls, the way it moves. Hopefully you're able to see that. And again, she's wearing it with her wide leg jeans. So I'm gonna try and rock it with the wide leg jeans. So there we go, 15 pounds again, and I wear this one in a small. So interesting, I went for that one in a medium and that one in a small. That is the difference in sizes. Can you really tell? I'm not too sure. I think they'll both work absolutely fine. 
Right, this is this is another kind of abstract color block print top or jumper rather. I thought it was gonna be a lot longer line than it is. I really was expecting it to be a lot longer in the body, but it isn't, it's actually quite short. But you know what, you can't have it all, can you? This ladies comes in two different colorways. So they do also do this in like the pale pink. I just find that super, super striking, very, very striking. Also the fact that this color doesn't just bleed off into the wrist. It's actually edged off with a bit of black as well. So quite a nice little detail that this comes in at 16 pounds i'm wearing this in an eight it is one of those very very soft materials again very very soft actually and very lightweight you can see it in the monitor it's a really striking striking print this comes in sizes 8 to 24 so a lot of sizes there for you so yeah i love that i think that's really really pretty so 16 pounds and i'm wearing that in a uk eight then we've got ladies we've got we've got another cozy this again is just another piece of incredibly soft loungewear this ladies is the beige stripe cozy top it couldn't explain it more clearer could it so it's got this very very gorgeous brushed cotton cozy fleecy type pajama material so so incredibly cozy but we've got this stripe so it does give it that little bit more of a smarter look absolutely wear it with those wide leg jeans you could absolutely wear it with some cream or beige wide leg trousers as well you could also bring in the black black skinny jeans little pumps at the bottom you could pretty much do anything with this and you know you're going to be super super cozy and you can actually see look as i do that it's got that bounce hasn't it so you can you can imagine how soft and incredibly stretchy this top is i'm wearing this in an eight it's 14 pounds yet another little cozy top and ladies last but not least we've got our first check i absolutely love this i didn't realize when i ordered it that it's actually a brave soul item and as you know obviously peacocks do a lot of brave soul it's almost like a little sub brand love the color of this it's not an in your face pink it's it's actually quite a dusky pink which is really really pretty very soft material as well you've got two little faux tortoiseshell buttons at the wrist nice and tight as well so you know if you can have it down or you can have it quite cash rolled up this does also come in a blue as well ladies and i did i'm an R about it but i have a blue checked peacock shirt from last year i certainly don't need another one but the pink looked absolutely fab i like the fact as well it's not too long on the body which i never thought i'd hear myself say because i'd quite like to be able just to tuck that into those wide leg stonewash jeans and um and just keep it kind of looser and longer at the back 16 pounds living good price really for a check shirt um so there we go ladies that was my last item of this haul that's absolute monster of a haul i think 31 items and we don't normally get into the 30s with peacocks but we did this month so hopefully there's some bits in there that you like um i will link everything down below for you as i always do and don't forget you will also see my favorites from this haul on my ltk shop and i will link that down below do come across and follow it's a new platform it's something new that i'm doing hopefully you'll like it right ladies if you have enjoyed my video please do give me a thumbs up and if you have not yet subscribed please do whack down on the subscribe button down below it is totally free it literally does just help the community to give you more content that's literally all it does right ladies next week valentine's haul uh, i'm getting in fairly early because it gives you enough time then to source your outfit if you are being taken out this is going to be a valentine's outfit haul it is not just going to be with one brand i'm actually collaborating with new look e5p next mns so this one's going to have a lot of product in it and a lot of variety as well for day dates for evening dates and for going out out dates as well so there's going to be a whole load of outfit inspiration for your valentine's date um, in that so that is next week which is friday the 2nd of feb until then ladies have a lovely lovely weekend have an amazing week stay warm and i will see you on the flip side take care Whispers in my head What you gonna do? So take it, kid